So here begins a little series that I'm going to do over the next several, well, I guess it's going to be several weeks because there's quite a few of these to get through. I want to say I remember seeing something like 51 of these. So this is going to be going for a while, but we're going to start off over here in the tutorial, which I have not played on this game yet. I mean, I played it on request, but I am on PC version right now. As you can see, I've been playing a little while, but not nearly as much as I have on my quest version by any means. Anyway, we'll go ahead and just do this. Welcome to Beat Saber. Stand in the center and put the sabers into these rings to start. Good. Now cut the cubes in the arrow direction and match the color. Great. Good. Perfect. Good. Great. Perfect. Now cut in any direction. Nice. Perfect. That's it. Do not cut or touch these bombs with your sabers. Nice. Perfect. Lean left. Lean right. Crouch. Congratulations. You are ready now. You sure about that? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. All right, now we can begin. If we can ever find the bottom of this thing. There we go. Level one. Oh, this is gonna be boring. <laughs> Easy, man. Okay, now before I go ahead and finish this particular one and continue on to a next one, I want to show you something. Um, I'm going to be talking through this one, so I'll probably try to shut the game audio down. But over here on... Well, I should be able to pause. Okay, over here on my right, you got all these numbers over here. Average cut. All the ones on the left are for my left saber. All the ones for my right are on the right saber. I didn't say that right, but it doesn't matter. Um, the top number is your your before the block hit swing angle. So, okay, I don't know if I'm even saying this right. 
Let me try to get this figured out here. <laughs> Okay, so the top number is your pre-block slice swing angle. You want that to be 70 at least. I mean, the most you can get is 70, but you want it to be 70, which means you're, you're swinging from a 70-degree angle before you hit the block. And then the second number, the one that says 2 on the right right now, is your after block hit swing angle, which should be 30. That's your first 100 points. So if you got a good swing on that block, you're doing the full 100 degrees from start to finish, 70 to start, and then hit the block, and then 30 after, that's a good 100 points. Now, the bottom number, that's the little more difficult one that's how close to the center of the block you're hitting you can go anywhere from 0 to 15 on that one so let me uh restart here so for this green block i want to start up here and end up down or end up pointing downward i should say and going from side to side it's the same thing now you can hit like just off the top of the block, but you're not gonna get a maximum number of points there. But you get closer to the center, and you'll get better points. I'm trying to get a 115 here, but it's, there's one. <laughs> there's another one. So yeah, the closer you hit to the center, the more you swing, the better your points are gonna be. And that's how you get the SS scores with like, 97.06 right over there right now. It's actually getting worse now. Because <laughs> I'm paying attention more to the numbers than I am my game. But yeah, that 96.93 right there, the higher that is, the better your score is going to be in the long run. Because you're hitting closer to the center of the block. You see my swing angles, always 70s, always 30s. And I'm not too bad about getting close to the middle of the blocks. So, I mean, it's good enough. <laughs> My average is between 109 and 111 score per block, so it's not bad. It's not fantastic. I mean, compared to some people, I would say. Probably is, but... So this one's going to be a little bit of a longer upload, just because I've added that little bit in there, and that little crossover bit. You don't have to move your sabers over each other like this. As long as the part that's slicing the block is where it needs to be, you're good to go. Now in the vanilla game, unmodded, you won't have all these extra numbers over here. You won't have the miss counter or notes remaining or anything, average speed, all that stuff. The speed doesn't matter, by the way. You'll, you'll, if you have the extended HUD, you'll have the 8X combo or X8, and then you'll have combo 94 at the score, and then your S, well, your rating right there. But if you're just playing it usual, I think you'll have the combo and the X8, and that's it. I'm not entirely certain. It's been a while since I played without the full HUD. So, anyway. So there's that. That's going to be my first video <laughs> of this series. And there's going to be a lot of them. So, yeah. If you like it, if you want to see more, hit the like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. For now. I think I felt my cat walking between me a minute ago. <laughs> Hi, Diva, wherever you are. <laughs>